Mr. Fritz uh, mentioned uh, uh, future budgets, and I, I do want to uh, emphasize that with the $2.6 billion state budget um, gap that there is for the next biennium, um, that we are anticipating uh, significant cuts in some of the transfers of state dollars to local government, and that will particularly be affecting um, health department programs and programs elsewhere in the county as well. So um, while we've adopted our budget for 2010, that is a moving target for us and we'll need to respond uh, over the course of this year as uh, those cuts become more clearly identified. Yeah, the cuts in human services uh, apparently are the worst. Mental health, $18 million in cuts, and they're bracing for perhaps $30 million in cuts in mental health. Development of disability, 3% cut. Mm -hmm. It's substantial statewide. And with 80%, as much as 80% of our prison population either being chemically dependent or mentally ill, <coughs> um, you know, cuts to those programs are significant in terms of what that does to the criminal justice system and who ends up being uh, incarcerated. So it's a, it's, a, it's a troubling thing, for sure. Um, uh, I will be following up with Mr. Schultz uh, regarding his question on or concern about oversight on uh, do dollar conservation futures dollars spent on projects with business plans, so I'll need to understand more deeply what that entails, and I'll certainly follow up on it, so I appreciate you raising the issue. Um, and then um, Mr. Geisner uh, raised some questions about uh, permit process, as did Mr. Tracy, and I will be addressing at least some of that uh, at the 10 o'clock presentation. <coughs> Um, and then uh, also, as Mr. Tears pointed out, we will be uh, making a presentation on electronic packets, and uh, hope that that will be a significant move forward. The issue about scanning that he raises about uh, images versus uh, having text content, that's a, that, um, that's a valid uh, concern, and I'll look into that one further as well. And uh, Mr. Miller's comments about those that are here in the mornings and others that participate in government, we certainly recognize that you're here because you care uh, and that you want to see government doing better. And we appreciate your involvement. Thank you for it. You help us do a better job serving you and the rest of the public of Jefferson County. So thank you for what you do. As to the uh, issue raised by Mr. Tracy on um, why the speakers are listed as anonymous, I believe that uh, that was partially so as not to um, uh, create any um, environment where a person could feel like there could be a, a pushback or a flashback for comments that they made. And so I think it was really a, in, you know, to focus on the substance rather than the people. Um, so that's why that has been done. Um, and um, I'll follow up with Mr. Domenico on his safety comments as well. So just wanted to acknowledge uh, those comments. I want to do you just make a brief, brief comment about uh, Craig Durgan's comments about the, the sewer. Um, maybe one business actually wanting the sewer, and uh, it's just the onus of the uh, state. Um, but you know, I don't know which business he was talking about, but it's right off the top of my head, I think of South Seven QFC School in Buffalo, 
Ajax Duvain, Hadlock uh, in Dr. Murphy. There's a lot of people out there that would like to see that sort of Valley Tavern. Valley Tavern. I don't think we have enough time to list all the businesses. No, I just that just we just came to doing that. <coughs> We'd be here for another hour because it's a very it would make such a difference in the, in the economic value of each one of those pieces of property. But yeah, we've seen, seen a lot of support. It's a long list. And then the other comments we had were about the industrial land bank, right. and, the, and that really has evolved over the years into what was the airport comp plan. I mean, yeah. that, uh, that's uh, you know, been a part of that process all along and evolving and work looking at different ways uh, where you have somebody who really could advocate for a project. Uh, an industrial land bank is uh, not like the MID where you, you set up the rules where somebody could come in someday and say they want to do something somewhere in the county. An industrial land bank is actually identifying the land and having a commitment from the property owner to do the infrastructure. And we haven't had anybody come forward under the industrial land bank uh, model saying they wanted to commit their land to that kind of uh, infrastructure and that kind of process. Uh, but we did have the airport who was able to modify their proposal in a way that, uh, that under the essential public facilities. And uh, so sometimes you start out with a project with one model and things aren't working for different reasons and people get creative and they find a way to take parts of that and put it into another project and it evolves. You know, that's essentially what happened here. Well, also I think what we heard last night, last uh, week, uh, illustrated how complicated these questions are. We had, you know, uh, people that spoke very strongly against expanding the amount of um, property that was available for industrial or commercial development, saying we had more than enough. And then people spoke eloquently on the other side. And uh, so it, it is more complicated than it may just seem uh, at first glance. It always seems to be here. Yeah. It always seems I'm in trouble with somebody says, why don't you just do something? You know, you should just do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, one other comment. Uh, last week, uh, Mr. Belensky uh, uh, asked why uh, his Court record, original court record, had not been included in the correspondence package from last week. And I said I would look into the matter. I did, and I found the problem, and I am the problem. Um, I had uh, picked up, uh, in order to read it, I had picked it up, up on the uh, front desk of uh, our staff, and uh, so consequently didn't get into the normal mill, and so that's entirely my fault. <laughs> so. I'll come up to that one, uh, but I believe it is in uh, this week's packet. I found that in talking with him this uh, out during the break, uh, found out there are some additional records. He was wondering why we're not included in the correspondence uh, record. And I'll look into that as well. Hopefully those aren't, well, maybe they're my fault too. I don't know. But I'll try to find out. Apology accepted. We're at uh, 10 o'clock here. Right. So uh, next we have uh, on the agenda the uh, we'll see community outreach meetings, electronic agenda packets, and then